Greetings fellow adventurers and welcome back to my channel. It's Sofianos here, your navigator through the twists and turns of gaming. Today's episode is a bit different. A unique blend of storytelling and imagination. Imagination. Why you ask? Well, in our latest Monastery Forest run, the 13th to be exact, we've embarked on a journey so exclusive that it was only captured by my second monitor. Yes. You hear it right. The epic battles, strategic card plays, and mysterious encounters all unfolded off screen, leaving us with the most vivid of our imaginations to paint the adventure. So, grab your favorite snack, sit back, and let's dive into the tale of what could have been in this unseen run of Monastery. Ready to unleash your imagination? Let's turn this misadventure into a legendary storytelling session. Let's go guys. Let's check out the shop first to see what we can buy or we could buy in the future. This one, I want to buy this one, but I missed 25 shorts, 23 to be exact. We will wait until the next run. Let's start run. Let's go in the forest and now we can defeat Gia. Yeah, we will play in the forest. The previous time we won the, the run and now we can beat the boss. Let's go guys. So we've got these things. I like Warcry, I haven't seen this card before. Protection 1, your next attack will stun. That's a great skill, I believe. Stakes uh, seems very interesting, I haven't seen it too. Thorns 3, multiply the damage of your thorns by the number of stakes card you played plus 1 for this turn. Remove your thorn stack at the end of the, the turn. Let's try this one out and uh, maybe go with counter attack. We will need blocking cards as well. Let's start with counter attack, my favorite card. Let's uh, try to finish, uh, basically not finish, tough tackle this guy, tough tackle this guy and also vampire card this guy and use a concentrate card and we're good to go, let's see. I'm enjoying my coffee as you can see there, very delicious coffee, it keeps me awake at night. So now what can we do, can we kill you little guy? No, let's play with stakes, I want to try this out. Let's use vampire card with stun on this guy. He's stunned now. And now let's finish. Uh, basically not finish. Basically finish. This guy. We're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, kill this guy and tough tackle this guy to end this battle. Very easy, very easy. I love that. First battles are easy as always. Let's go in the right side. Two cards and two torches. Let's go with uh, Will Wind. <sighs> Heroism. I love Heroism as well. Two torches received. Great. Sambler. So I've got a lot of torches. Uh, let's lose three and gain a boom token. To gain a boom. Great. Let's go with uh, whenever you cause bleeding, increases value by five. Very good. It's called Wound. Okay, counter attack. Attack. Finish this guy with two tough tackle attacks. He's dead. And now let's protect the left side two times with Vigilant Guard. Nine armor on the left side. And they will start hiding now. This is not good. Uh, but we can use Will Wind maybe. Vampar Cut first on this guy. Will Wind then. Okay, two guys are dead. And now we can use uh, Warcry to protect ourselves from this guy. Who is hiding? Because he's coward. You coward cool. I protected myself and now I will take revenge. And now I will kill you with two vampire cats. Bye bye my friend. Second battle very easy guys. Yes. I want to duplicate one card. I want to play with uh, this one stakes. This one will be great. And the boon token received. Let's go with this one. Get one misfortune card. Next battle plus 15 thorns. As you can see I want to test out thorns this time. I've got 15 thorns. Let's go with uh, stakes. Vampire card this guy, open card this guy, and the vigilant card the left side. Oh my god, he took a lot of damage from my thorns. This is very, 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 very powerful stakes. Let's pick this again. Let's just go with counter attack and concentrate. And hopefully we block him. Hopefully. Nope, I didn't block him. This is not good. Let's go with heroism. I've tackled this guy with critical chance. Yes, I got a 17 critical. Do it again with this guy. No, I didn't kill him. No way. Let's go with uh, Warcry to be safe. And next turn we will have stun. Okay. I blocked you, let's go with uh, tough tackling this guy, I stun him too, let's also go with uh, vampire card on this guy and now use uh, will with critical stunts, I think he will be dead from bleeding, 
Yes, he's dead. Battle 3, very easy. Victory, guys, very easily. I'm gonna play it with Thorns this time. Let's go on the right side to cards and the Boon Token. Let's go with Barricade. Gain Thorns 3 for each wet card you play or discard. Go with Turtle. Let's go with Sun. Critical damage is increased by 50%. And uh, let's lose. Basically, let's get one Misfortune card. I don't mind. Battle 4 has started, guys. We got Lycan. Two Lycans, basically. Let's start with Warcry. Vampire cut this guy. He's stunned. Vigilant card the right side. And use these bad cards. I got one protection. He didn't uh, afflict us. Should I use all of my stakes? Nope, I won't. Sure counter attack. Sure tough tackle this guy. And sure use stakes. Man block something. I know you can. You don't have any thorns. But I've got armor on the right side. No armor at all now. Let's kill this guy. He will be dead soon, sooner or later. Let's try to finish this guy with uh, tough tackle. No critical at all, no way. And go with the uh, barricade. Oh my god, I am unfortunately faced towards the left side. Mm, I could have blocked some of their attacks if I wasn't in a hurry. What can we do now? We can go with uh, Willwind. Concentrate, concentrate Vladimir, great, thank you. And now we can tough tackle this guy to get the armor as well. Block, 50% block. Okay, one attack blocked. First, use heroism. Tough tackle this guy with critical chance, 16 critical. And now let's uh, use it again on this guy with uh, critical chance, or basically stun the other guy. Okay, wise option. And use a misfortune card. Okay, they will be dead from bleeding. I think we're good. Dead, dead, bye bye. Battle for not that easy, but it's okay. We won. That's what it matters in the end. Let's go with item upgrade on the right side. Let's go with the middle option. Gain 40 armor on both sides in the fifth turn. That's a good one. Let's heal 20 HP and gain two torches. Battle 5 has started. What can we do now to win the enemy? What can we do, guys? I need weight cards, of course, to use it with barricade. Now, let's wheel one, one time. Vampire cut on this guy and use uh, stakes. Okay, he's nearly dead. I want to crease my thorns somehow. Maybe get new cards or a boon. Let's go with... Uh, I don't have an attacking card. Let's scree one time. Nothing special. Okay, let's go with Warcry. Warcry this guy. Basically Warcry myself. What am I saying? Armor 3 on the right side. Use a counter attack. And a weight card. I need blocking. I need thorns. And what else? And some weight cards. Maybe for a barricade card. I will see. Maybe it wasn't a good strategy to play with thorns, but we will see guys. I'm not anxious about that right now. Okay, let's go with uh, Tertu, Concentrate and Tough Taku, this guy. And he's stunned, great. Now got 75% blocking, so I will probably block many of their attacks if Vladimir is concentrated and counter attack them. You can do more Vladimir, come on, block, blocked, great. Oh, he's getting powerful, powerful, no way. Now to tackle this guy with uh, trample, great, okay I blocked you, <laughs> heroism, to tackle this guy with critical chance, okay he's nearly dead, and vigilant card the right side, it does not have a lot of uh, blocking, this is not good, he's dead, the left side guy is dead, but you're dealing a lot of damage, I'm, I'm losing health, stop damaging me guys, blocked you, oh he's getting a lot of power, I don't like that, but I've got a lot of armor because it's our fifth turn, what can I do guys, let's go with war cry, tough taku, this guy, oh he's dead from critical, great, and I blocked you, vampire cut, this guy, and use a misfortune card, okay he's dead, I blocked you, and I was protected, what can I do now guys, what can I do now, with stakes, and maybe use uh, vampire cut on this guy, and vigilant card, the right side of course, let's go, okay he's dead, they're taking damage from thorns, this is good, and he keeps spawning enemies, I don't like that, I don't like you, I will take revenge right now, vampire cut, on this guy with critical chance, okay he will be dead from bleeding soon, use concentrate, screw one time because I got a lot of uh, stamina, will wind, and many of them are dead, he's dead basically, okay my armor is done for now, go with uh, stakes, concentrate, and tough tackle this guy, Come on, Thorns, do my job. Okay, nearly dead. 
block blocked Okay, thorns are doing their job, but um, I lost many HP and it's early, it's only battle 5. Go with stakes again, I got to test it out. Tough Taku, this guy, vigilant guard, the right side. Okay, so I'm losing HP, this is not a good strategy. This is not, not, not a good strategy. Let's go with war cry. Tough tackle this guy with uh, critical chance. Vampire cut this guy. Okay, protect it and uh, go with a misfortune card. He keeps phonic enemies. Let's go with stakes again. Concentrate and vampire cut on this guy. He'll be dead soon. He'll be dead soon. Yes, you're dead. Blocked you. And at some point, you all will be dead. Stay patient, guys. Stay patient. Uh, now we can go with stakes again. Heroism and stun this guy with vampire cut. And I have to change my strategy. Next turn. Oh, he's dead. Great. And I think that was it. He will die from bleeding. Bye bye, my friend. So I, I don't like my strategy so far. I lost a lot of HP and it's only stage 5. Let's go on the left side to heal and gain torches. Let's speak. Nothing happens now. Six battle has started with this great music. What can we do now? Let's go with stakes, barricade, and vampire cut. This guy. Block to you. Let's go with Concentrate, Heroism, War Cry, and Open Cut. This guy with Critical Chance. Nope. Protect it. Okay, many enemies have spawned. I don't like that. Now let's have tackle this guy. Tough tackle this guy. Vampire Cut. One of these guys, I don't know which one though. And I will use Tan, of course. Uh, let's use it on this guy, Seiman. Vigilant card on the left side. Blocked you. Do I have counter attack now? I don't remember. Blocked you. Oh my god, I'm only at 126 HP. Let's go with counter attack. Vampire cut on this guy. He's dead. Great. Tough tackle this guy. Vigilant card on the left side. Guys, I need to do something with blocking with many things. Blocked you. Now I've got armor, the armor. Let's go with heroism and use will grind with critical chance. No critical. Why Vladimir? Why? Now let's go with concentration. Vladimir is concentrated. They're getting powerful and powerful. You can't block. Why are you blocking anything? Okay. You guys are blocked. I'm getting vulnerable now. Let's go with Far Cry. Open cut this guy. He will be dead from bleeding. Vampire cut this guy as well. He's stunned. And uh, Vigilant Guard. The left side. We're good. Protected. And blocked. Okay, many guys are dead. Now let's go with Tough Tackle and Critical Sands. 16 critical only. Basically, yes, it's 200%. Critical. Now what can we do? Let's discard a weight card to get thorns and use stake and hope for the best. Hope for the best. Come on, Vladimir. I know you can. I know you can. Okay, blocked and dead. And dead. Yes, I need thorns for this strategy to work. A lot of thorns. Let's go with four cards and blue token. Let's go with uh, ground pound. Maybe reroll. I don't like anything. Let's go with pummel. I want something with thorns. Let's heal five. I don't like anything, guys. No special card. Let's go with Rage. Boon token received. That's great. I want to heal. But basically let's lose 15 HP. And we will have 30 armor on both sides. Yep. I'm only at 105 HP. This is not good. But I've got the armor. Now let's play. Let's go with Barricade. Stakes. And pummel this guy. He's stunned. So we're good. We got only 20% uh, blocking. But we've got Thorns. And armor. Let's go with Rage. Pummel this guy again. Go with the weight card. And turtle. No stamina left, so let's go. Okay, they're getting powerful and powerful. I didn't block this guy. New enemy has spawned, Omega. Look what I can I do now. Maybe, maybe, maybe tough tackle this guy. And now I can combine ground pound with stun this side only. Yep, all of them are stunned. And they got bleeding too. And I got protection as well, 56% uh, blocking. I'm gonna block a lot of their attacks, maybe. Don't have counter attack, this isn't good. Okay, go with stakes and uh, heroism and tough tackle this guy with trample. That's great. Let's go now. Now I'm a little better position than the previous time. The armor option was wise enough. 
Vladimir isn't blocking anything in this round, I don't know why. Now I've got extra armor, so let's go with counter attack, war cry, and uh, tough tackle this guy, he's stunned, stun this guy as well, and all of them are stunned, basically two of them are stunned. Okay, they're getting powerful and powerful protected. Okay, I've got the armor, I don't mind. I'll go with heroism and tough tackle this guy with uh, critical chance. He's dead. Now use stakes in case for my thorns to work. Of course. Okay, dead. Locked. Let's go with raids. Maybe Vampire got this guy and now use ground pound on this side with uh, stun. Oh, only this guy again. Mm, that's not good. Let's go with Wu Grind. Stun then. Crew one time. Let's go with Pamel and stun this guy. Kill this guy. Whatever. Very good. Now let's Pamel this guy. He's dead. Uh, what else can we do? Will he die from bleeding? I think yes, he will. But who knows? Let's be Grand this side. Counter attack. We're good. He's dead from bleeding, yeah. Okay, battle 7 is over. We are only at 102 HP. Let's go with uh, item upgrade. Whenever an enemy takes bleeding, heal one. Let's go with this one. I need healing. Let's get one misfortune card, maybe, and heal 50. We're now at 150 health. And battle 8 has started. We got four lecanoids. Four. Let's go. Concentrate. Stakes. Tough taku. This guy. And big lanker the right side. Let's go. More enemies have spawned, many many enemies. Let's go with raids. Will wind. Vampire cut on uh, this guy. And use a wait card, maybe. Yep. Let's go. I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm not good. Blocked you. Vladimir blocks only when I don't have counter attack, right? <laughs> Stay from bleeding and I healed. Let's vampire cut this guy with. Critical chance, yup, he will be dead next turn. Now go with tough tackling, tough tackling which guy? This guy. And uh, use stakes. Let's go. I'm missing blocking cards. I need a lot of concentrate cards and a lot of blocking cards generally. But the game doesn't give me any of them. So I guess that's what can we do. Let's go with turtle. I'm gonna get a lot of blocking, a lot of cards, um, maybe counter attack, yep. And one guy, this guy, to kill him. Okay, and we got critical as well. I think we're good. 60% block. Blocked. Blocked. And blocked. 3 out of 30 first time in this video. I love you, Vladimir. Keep up the good work. And what can we do now? We can uh, use a whirlwind card. Great one guy is dead. I've tackled this guy with critical chance. 28 critical great. And now I can vampire cut one guy. Maybe this one. And he will dead from bleeding next turn. We are good. Let's go. And we got a lot of armor. 45 and 43. Blocked you. Okay. Dead from bleeding. I healed 1 HP from my boon. From my special boon. We can use vampire cut on this guy. He will be dead next turn. Vigilant guard the right side. And use stakes. Let's go. Okay, dead from bleeding. Great. Both raids. Vampire cut this guy. Open cut this guy. Turtle. Why not? To get a little bit of blocking. A little bit. Okay, he's nearly dead. Bye bye, my friend. He's dead. And now, can we finish them all? Maybe with Trample and Taftaku. We will see. Nope, we didn't. Let's go with stakes. And he will be dead, I think. And wait as well. Let's see. He will die for my thorns. Nope, he only got power. Tough tackle him and finish him. But late. GG's. This is victory. Yes. Now let's go. The next battle will be skipped. And let's go straight into the 10th battle. I wanna get a boot token. Let's lose 10 and 1 torch. It's risky, but let's hopefully get good boons. Maybe go with wind. Have more options. Maybe it will be useful. Let's go with wind. Or reroll. Or should I put everything on black? Let's reroll one, guys. It's I'm for risks. Hmm, I got Retiliation. Earth, let's go with Earth. Gain 4 Retiliation whenever you stun an enemy. I'm playing with stunning, so it will be quite useful. Oh my god, we got Gia, yeah, the final boss. He summons a Lycan with Protection 1. Her protection is set to 1 at the start of every turn. Anytime she, she would take damage, receive the damage among other wolves instead. Oh my god. So he will be the last one to be killed. I don't like that. Let's start, guys. Wish me luck in the comments, down in the comments. We got only 86 health and the music is great. Let's go. Let's start with Willwind. 
Vampire card this guy. Counter attack and let's screw one time. And Taftaku on this guy. Okay, he spawned the Lican. He will be dead next turn, so we're good. Let's go with uh, Warcry. Oh, I only can go for this guy. Let's go with Sun to get uh, Deliation. Oh, he's dead, so I didn't get any stun. Great! <laughs> Stakes, why not? I'm not in the best position because he starts protecting. Can't do much, to be honest. Maybe go Ground Pound on this side, maybe. Let's go with Ground Pound, yeah. And concentrate, 85% blocking. That's what I want. That's what I want from, from Vladimir. To block everything. And more and more enemies are spawning. From this big boss raids, of course. It was at turn 130 of our monastery run when the truth hit us. The final boss was unbeatable with our current strategy. Yet, instead of despair, this realization sparked a fierce determination. We embarked on the journey afresh, seeking stronger cards, refining our strategy with each step. This wasn't just a restart. It was a testament to perseverance and the transformative power of facing defeat head-on. Here you can see me raging when I arrived at turn 130. Enjoy it! But I lost all of my retaliation. I can't play this game! Now 3 misfortune cards! Now! Now! Guys, uh, I must find a new strategy that's impossible to win. I will find a new strategy by myself and see you later. Okay guys, I played again. I picked more powerful cards. So we're good to go. Let's go. We are in battle, t uh, battle 10 and we are more powerful than ever. Let's start attacking this guy. Okay, he's good. Now tough tackle him. Tough tackle him again. And use high ground. He will be dead. We're dead, great. Now we're stronger, I believe. Aggression, tackle this guy. Let's also bloodthirst this guy. And biting blows and late defense. I think we're in a better position than before. Dead, great. Let's keep it on this way. Bumper cut this guy, slam this guy. And now, what can we do? We can uh, bleed this guy. Great, he'll be dead. We're doing good, I believe. Died, dead from bleeding, great. Use this on this guy. Push this guy, let's go. He will be dead. Great. That's the spirit, that's what I was talking about. Plotless out. This vampire cut here as much as possible. Three times. And now critical. Let's go. Yes. Oh yeah. Let's slam here. Great. Slam here again. We damage him first time. Yes. Yes. Can we do something now? Let's screw one time. And... I should have big flex and wait. Open cut here. Let's go. Oh yes, he took bleeding. And he spawned three enemies now. It's okay, we got this. Slam this guy. Taftaku. And Taftaku again. Now she's protected though. But not for long. Dead. Let's go with battles out. Slam this guy. And vampire got this guy. Let's go. Let's go. I got this. Yes, two guys are dead. What can we do now? Let's build raids this guy. Flex, of course. And open cut. You are dead, not a big surprise. 35 damage, hmm. Look what's the strategy. Bloodthirst on this guy. Build raids this guy, great. And now, maybe flex. Yes! Will he take bleeding? Yes, that was it. At turn 10, my strategy worked, guys. We beat Kea! Yes! After 130 turns, something like that. But at battle 10, we were the best, guys. I am the best monastery player in the world. I don't think so, but <laughs> you understood my point. Oh my god, we got Ring of Strength and Sword. Yes! We'll see these features in the next video. Great, guys. That run took forever, <laughs> I've got to say. Anyway, I think that was it for this one. We'll check out the shop in the next episode. And so, our invisible journey comes to an end. I hope you find joy and laughter in our unique long episode today. It's a reminder that sometimes the most memorable moments comes from unexpected twists in our path. If you enjoyed this imaginative game, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more epic adventures and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until we meet again, keep those imaginations vivid and your spirits high. Bye bye guys.